Hello and welcome. Pause the video and try this problem on your own, and then resume it to watch. Okay, let's start. Um, it says that we're given 2x, okay, oops, not a good color to write in, sorry, 2x plus ax minus 7 is greater than negative 12. Determine the largest integer value for of a when x equals negative 1. So that's just saying if x is equal to negative 1, what does a um, equal, or what is the largest value of a in this inequality? So we're looking at inequality, so it's not necessarily what a equals, but where it's larger than or smaller than, depending on the setup of the problem. So the first thing I would do is just plug in the value of x that they give us here, right? So it's 2 times x, negative 1, plus a times negative 1, minus 7 is greater than negative 12. So negative two times uh, two times negative one is negative two. A times negative one is negative a. So I put minus a minus seven greater than negative twelve. To isolate a, I'm going to add two and add seven over here. In other words, I'm going to add nine, right? So now if we add negative twelve plus nine is negative three. We have negative a over here, and they're not equal, right? This is an inequality. So negative a is greater than negative 3. To solve this, you can multiply or divide both sides by negative 1. That will reverse your signs. Negative a divided by negative 1 is a. Negative 3 divided by negative 1 is just 3. And that also reverses the direction of the inequality. So what is the largest integer that a can equal? Well, it has to be less than 3, and an integer is a whole number, so that means a is 2. Right, 2 is the largest whole number, uh, positive or negative, it's an integer uh, that's less than 3. So again, what happened here? Why did I switch the sign? Well, the way I think about it is I use numbers in this case to explain it. Let's just go back, let's say something really simple. 1 is bigger, well, it's actually, oops, 2 is bigger than 1. We'll use that. That's true. But what about um, if I multiply or divide both sides by negative 1? What am I going to get? Well, 2 divided by negative 1, or multiplied by negative 1, is, is what? That's negative 2. 1 divided by negative 1, or multiplied by negative 1, what's that? Well, that's negative 1. And now, is it still true that negative 2 is larger than negative 1? No. Negative 1 is now larger. We, when we invert our, our sign values on our numbers, we also inverse the direction of the value. This goes back to the very basics of the number line, right? If we look at the numbers 1 and 2 versus negative 1 and negative 2, it's true that 2 is larger than 1, right? Let's make one blue here. Oh, not blue. Can't really see that. Let's make it green. So the red dot is larger than the green dot. But if we switch the absolute value, we keep the absolute value the same. We switch the sign. If we take the opposites here of both points, right, if we map them over to their negatives, you can see that the green becomes larger and the red becomes smaller. Because the closer you are to zero, green's closer to zero, the larger the point for negative numbers, right? In other words, the further to the right that you are in this direction, the right, or the positive, the larger the value. So red's bigger than green, but then green's bigger than red. So you switch the value when you switch um, your numbers from negative to positive and vice versa. And this is always true. Thanks.